David Shaw here with another off the record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., come visit my site, offtherecordtours.com. Let's go. This statue of Martin Luther King is one of the must see sites for those visiting Washington. But few know that the sculpture of this great American was made in China. All the designs of Washington's memorials are selected through a blind competition. Once an artist submits an idea to the committee creating the memorial, his or her name and organization is removed from the proposal. That way, it's evaluated on its merits alone, without any bias based on the artist's name. This is how a college homework assignment of a 21-year-old Chinese-American woman can be selected to become the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. There were 906 entries in the competition for King's Memorial. Once a firm was selected, the committee needed to find a sculptor. The committee's search eventually led it to Lei Shen of China. Lei is from Changsha, the capital of Hunan. Lei's parents were teachers, and because of that, he was sent to a re-education farm for seven years during China's brutal cultural revolution. He was one of the first group of artists to emerge from that horrific period in modern Chinese history. Lei, the committee, and the King family select this granite from China. The color is called shrimp pink as the material to work in. Both these selections were not without controversy. Some quarry owners wanted to know why not use American granite? And artists, especially African-American ones, wanted to know why a black artist wasn't selected to portray King. Belay's large body of public art, including this huge statue of a young Mao Zedong, convinced the committee that he had the skill and vision to craft a representation of King that would speak to generations to come. And remember, King was an internationalist. He knew the world was larger than the United States. And I think he would be pleased how this artist, from the other side of the earth, understood the struggle for justice and peace. Lei started his work in his hometown of Changsha. He completed 80% of it there before the 159 blocks of granite were shipped to Baltimore. Once back here in Washington, the blocks were reassembled and Master Lei completes the work on site. The Martin Luther King Memorial is dedicated in 2011. And when you visit it, make sure you look for Lei's signature right here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that off-the-record story. If you want to learn more about Washington, D.C., things seen and unseen, arrange your tour of your nation's capital at offtherecordtours.com. Until then, I'm David Shaw.